Hi, this is Corey with Cloud Adoption Solutions, and today I'm going to be covering how to make a report on orphaned contacts or other objects. So in Salesforce, I'm going to go to the Contacts tab, and we're going to take a look at all contacts. And in here, you can see some of these contacts don't have an account name, and those are considered orphan contacts. In Salesforce, you can create contacts without an account. To report on that requires a little bit of extra work because Salesforce out of the box doesn't provide a contacts report. It provides an accounts with contacts report, um, which won't work for this because it will not give us the ability to show contacts without an account. So the first step, we're going to go to the setup menu from the gear icon. And then in the quick find box, we'll just type report, or you can type report types, and then we'll go to report types and click that. And from here, we'll make a new custom report type. And our primary object is going to be contacts. And we'll give this a label. We'll call it contacts without accounts. And we'll have to give it a description as well. And we'll store it in the accounts and contacts category. And then under deployment status, we'll deploy it so that we can actually use it. And we'll hit next. And on this screen, we're just going to leave it like this. So we're not going to not going to associate any other objects and we'll hit save. So now this custom report types created and we can use it back under the reports tab. So back in Salesforce, we're going to go to reports, new report. We'll select all on the left and then we'll start searching for the report type name. And then we'll look for the custom one. So this contacts without accounts is the one we just made and we will start that. I'm going to change the filters to show everything here. And then in our outline, we're going to add the account name. Even though we only pick the contacts object, we still get that lookup field to the account. So we can add that to the report. And if we sort it by that, we can see which ones have an account, which ones don't. So even though we said contacts without accounts is the report type name, it still gives us the ability to look at the account name lookup field. And then we can filter on that field. So we'll go to the filters tab. And we will add a filter for the account name field. And we'll do account name equals blank. So we're just going to do uh, not put anything in that box. And then that will show us the contacts that don't have an account. And we'll add the contact ID, then the created by, we could add any other fields we need to this report as well. But adding the ID will help out if we go to export this and we need to do any data manipulation. So we'll save and run the report. We'll give it a name. I'm going to call it orphan contacts. And this is my dev org, so I don't have a lot of report folders in here, so I'll make one. We'll select that and then save the report. And here you can see those contacts that don't have an account for whatever reason. Maybe they weren't given an account to begin with. They were put in here just under the contacts tab or the account was removed from them for some reason. Um, having the contact ID on there on this report will help if we export it to Excel, and then we can do any type of data manipulation. If we need to delete these records, that's easily doable, or if we want to associate them with a different account, uh, since we have that contact ID, it'll make that a lot easier. Thanks for watching today. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel for Salesforce related tips and tricks. Again, we're Cloud Adoption Solutions. Please reach out to us for any of your Salesforce needs. Thanks.